Jason, appreciate the time, man. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. How do you describe that one, man? Uh, it was, you know, got to win, you know, uh, they had uh, credit to them. They shot the ball really well tonight and they played really hard and, and we're just happy to get the win. What was going through your mind there when you stepped to the line with, with uh, one and one with uh, six seconds to go? I had to, you know, talk to myself a little bit and make sure I, I made the first one. Cause that's the most important one. And then on the second one, just don't leave it short. Cause if you leave it short, you don't give it a chance to go in. So um, I, it did clank, but uh, we got the win. So. What's what? Uh, you know, they had no timeouts left. Obviously, I'm sure you've practiced that before. But what was that kind of scramble like there? And then you got your you got back in time to get the hand up there. Yeah, it's just you know, uh, just communication was huge for us. That was one of our keys coming in. We have to communicate with how many sets they run and how hard they run it. So, you know, with that scramble, Joe, we just had to communicate, find find a man, you know, get a hand up and just contest it the best we could without fouling. People are asking if you got a hand on the ball there. Did you get some? You got some contact there. Okay, no ball. You just got the hand up though, and it obviously altered the shot. Uh, what, what, how difficult, how frustrating it was it when they kept banging in some of those threes, and some of them were bouncing up in the air and going back in. And I mean, they made thirteen of them tonight. Uh, how frustrating was that? And was it you know just them hitting some crazy shots, or was your defense not great, or what? Could have been a mix of both. You know, sometimes the the ball just rolls in, and that's the kind of night it was. And um, we had to make some adjustments, but you know they, they're a great shooting team when they get hot, and they got hot tonight. What was it, you know, going on the road in the Mountain West, man? It's never easy, and obviously this is a team that was three and nine in league, and every time one team would make a run, the other team would make a run. I mean, how do you just describe the, the back and forth of this game? I mean, it just seemed like no team could feel comfortable. Even when you guys were up ten early in the second half, they came right back with a twelve-two run and tied it up. You just can't get complacent on the road, you know. Uh, the, even though the crowd wasn't as big as it was last year, they they made some noise and they they helped the uh, Colorado State get back into the game, and so. There's just so many ebbs and flows of the game that, you know, you just got to play through each and every one of them. Apparently the official scorer gave you a block, they say, on the YouTube chat there. So, hey, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> what, uh, down, you were obviously battling foul trouble again. Um, what's that like where you're just kind of coming in and out a little bit and you couldn't, you know, that big run that your team went on there late in the second half, you weren't really a factor for most of that because you were on the bench with the fouls and then you came in and didn't waste any time in the second half, you know, going to work. But what, how, what's that like when you're kind of in and out a little bit dealing with the foul trouble but trying to contribute when they're in there and then and obviously not pick up that fifth? It is kind of frustrating, you know. Um, sometimes the refs just got their got your number on some nights, and tonight was one of them, um, you know. But you just got to play through anything that the game throws at you. And, uh, you know, even when you're on the bench, you're still going to make an impact on the game, communicate, help help the guys out on the court. What else? I mean, uh, Buzo hit some big shots. I mean, what, what else? What takeaways, especially in the second half, uh, what else do you, know, do you take away from this game? We can close out a game like that, and, you know. Um, I think that's huge for us going down the stretch and, you know, we're going to have some close ones down the stretch, and, you know, we know how to win in some close ones. What did it say about you guys? I'm trying to see the exact point, but, I mean, they had a couple different times where they had all the momentum. They went up by three on that Stevens shot. They had the foul in the corner where they hit the three and then made the free throw to take the lead. I mean, uh, you guys obviously been in a lot of battles like this, uh, you know, more so maybe last year in some of these close games, but this year too, and just the, the, you guys didn't let really panic or let the, the pressure get to you, and you came back and kind of chipped away, you know, even early in the game when they were up by 10. Yeah, you know, we've been in a couple of these close ones throughout the year, you know, at St. Louis, at Nevada, we kind of have been in some close road games. And, you know, with that experience, you know, you learn a lot of things about yourself and we just can, you know, used everything that we learned in these past couple of games that have been close and use it to our advantage tonight. What uh, what do you make of the next two home games coming up? You got a big, big opportunity here against Sunday against UNLV and then New Mexico. Just got to take it one game at a time, you know. Um, we, you know, if we get ahead of ourselves, we may want one slip, and we can't we can't afford to do that at this time of the year. Hey, man, safe travels back. Uh, nice win. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Appreciate there, it. There he is, Tyson Degenhardt.